Hey, good afternoon. It's Bruce Watson here at Watson Chiropractic, your chiropractor here in Manteca. Um, I just went through and I printed up the top 20 questions when I Googled what are the most common questions about chiropractic. There's lots of questions. I get them all the time. And um, most of these I've heard hundreds of times. So hopefully this answers some of your questions. The top 20 questions about chiropractic from Google, starting here with number one, is chiropractic care a long-term commitment? It absolutely is not. Um, it's generally not a one and done, one adjustment fixes you. Um, I like to compare chiropractic to working out. Obviously, if you work out once, you're not in shape. It takes some repetition and it does generally take some repetition to make a change, a lasting change in your spine. That being said, it's your choice and, and your health. Um, and so some people just want to take it as it goes. And so it does take a while to make a lasting change, but it depends on your case, of course, your age, and um, it's always your decision, especially here in my clinic. Do chiropractic adjustments hurt? Absolutely not. Generally speaking, people look forward to their adjustments. Um, we see lots of people a day here and they, like I said, look forward to their adjustments. Now, that being said, if you're in acute pain and you've never seen a chiropractor before, um, that first adjustment sometimes stings for a second or two. But again, generally speaking, people look forward to their adjustments and no, they do not hurt. Is chiropractic care safe? Oh, I love this question. Yes, we have a dumpster out the back door and we try not to throw more than two patients in there a week. Huh. Yeah, no, honestly, this is a great question. And the best way to answer it, there's lots of ways to answer it and there's scientific studies, but what I'm gonna give you is numbers don't lie. And when we're talking about stats, nobody keeps better statistics than insurance. So obviously, you know, if you're getting in car accidents, your premiums go through the roof, right? Well, there's millions of chiropractic adjustments a day in the United States and across the world. If we were, if chiropractors were hurting people, our premiums would be astronomical. My malpractice insurance is like just a couple grand a year, just over that. Um, so, and hey, I, when I need a medical doctor, I need nothing anti-medical, please. But medical doctors, just a general practitioner prescribe drugs, whether we're talking about over the counter or prescription, drugs kill people every day. Their premiums are huge compared to ours. So again, just looking at statistically speaking, insurance would be killing us if, if we were hurting people. Chiropractic is very safe. Does chiropractic care only treat back pain? Oh, this is a, such a deep question. And I'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as possible. Actually, this is gonna maybe confuse you a little bit. Chiropractic care does not treat back pain. It doesn't treat headaches. It doesn't treat sciatic pain. With the adjustment, the way I explain it to my patients is I'm not treating any of your symptoms. When I adjust your spine, the misalignments in your spine put pressure on your nerves. If you have pressure on your nerves, you're having less than 100% function and that a lot of times does lead to pain. But the objective of the adjustment is to get pressure off your nerves. That's the only objective, to let your body naturally heal itself. The side effect is that it helps with back pain and lots of different symptoms. But, so does chiropractic care only treat back pain? No it actually helps your body function and heal closer to its potential. Who started chiropractic care? Oh, good question also. 1895, there was this uh, Dr. Dee Dee Palmer. He's right up here on my wall. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep talking. In 1895, Dr. Palmer was a magnetic healer at that time. That was fairly common. Um, and he had a jander in his building. His name was Harvey Lillard, and apparently Harvey Lillard had been deaf since a fall some years ago. And when uh, Dr. Palmer examined Harvey, he found the top vertebra or two in his spine were, as he wrote, racked out of position. Later, he named that a subluxation, which is a misalignment. He adjusted Harvey Lillard and it restored his hearing. And within two adjustments, his hearing was back to 100%. Um, Dr. Palmer falsely thought he might have found the curative deafness, apparently. Um, as he adjusted more people, he started seeing sick people getting well. Now again, reverting back to one of the last questions, uh, not treating back pain, he was adjusting sick people to get them well because he understood that these misalignments in your spine 
put pressure on the nerves and lead to lots of health issues. Um, so Dr. Dee Dee Palmer in 1895 started chiropractic. Are chiropractors actually doctors? Oh boy. So yes, I have a doctorate degree in chiropractic. Now, when you go to your dentist, you call him your doctor and he's a doctor of dentistry. You're not gonna go to him if you're having a heart attack or had a car accident and need medical care. So we're not medical doctors, we're doctors of chiropractic. I actually ask my patients to call me Bruce because I feel the doctor is actually in you. We're freeing up that innate potential to be healthy um, with the adjustment. And so I'm a doctor of chiropractic, but I'm not trying to be a medical doctor. And when I need a medical doctor, I want to go to a medical doctor. Are all patients adjusted the same way? Absolutely not. That's why we check your spine every time you come in here. Um, and there's lots of different ways to adjust a spine. Let's see. Can I see a chiropractor if I'm pregnant? Definitely. Um, I've been a member of the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association, working on infants through elderly. Um, but that, that ICPA.org is going to give you so much information on pregnancy care and um, pediatric care. So you can go to that website if you want. But um, yes, I've adjusted lots of women from early in pregnancy right up to the day of delivery. Um, and actually, I've been blessed to have uh, quite a few of those people bring their infant by the clinic on the way home um, to get checked right after birth. Do I need a referral from an MD to see you? No, we're primary care physicians and you can just call us and come right in. Can my body become addicted to chiropractic adjustments? Absolutely not. This kind of leads into that question or that statement, and it's very much a wives' tale. Once you start seeing a chiropractor, you have to always see a chiropractor. Um, that is not true. And again, the example I really like is working out. There's so many people that join the gym in January and February, and obviously a lot of those people never go back. Um, and we have lots of people that come in and they'll get adjusted for a while or maybe once, and they decide that it's doesn't fit into their choice for healthcare. Um, but a lot of people see so much, such dramatic changes, not just in their pain level, but in some aspect of their health that they make it part of their wellness care. Um, so there's nothing addicting about it. If you choose not to come in, you don't get the shakes, but uh, a lot of people do choose to continue with regular maintenance care because it's just part of their health care and they see a good change. Is chiropractic care expensive? Well, not here. Um, we're going to scroll right there for a second. What this says in my clinic, um, we only do chiropractic adjustments. Now it's not that other modalities for physical therapy are not valid. And if chiropractors choose to do that, that's absolutely fine. Um, we keep our prices low when we're just doing the adjustment. Therefore, there's no billable services other than the adjustment um, here at Watson Chiropractic. And a lot of chiropractors do um, practice that way, but many don't. And so is chiropractic care expensive? Not here, but it can be. How many chiropractic visits does it take to get better? Great question. And I honestly have no idea. It depends on your case. And that question is going to be answered at the initial exam. Obviously, if you have a chronic problem that's been plaguing you for weeks, months, or years, it's going to take longer. Again, if you're really out of shape, it takes a little longer to get in shape. Um, if you're in not too bad of shape and you start working out, it takes less to get in shape. And, and that's the example I use. Um, so I don't know until I see you and the chiropractor won't know until they see you on that first visit. Can adjustments make my spine loose? Listen, guys, if your chiropractor is checking your spine every time, you come in and only adjust you around those spinal misalignments or what are called subluxations. No, it's not gonna make your spine loose. It's only gonna loosen it where it's tight. Um, so I think this question is saying, can you be damaged by chiropractic adjustments? And no, not if you're adjusted only where you need it. What is a popping sound during adjustments? I answer this on every first visit because I think it's such an important question. Um, that pop sound that you hear with the adjustment is not bone against bone or cartilage against cartilage. When those joints are stuck and when you open that joint or if you take any joint to its end range, a little bubble is formed. The phenomenon is called cavitation. 
um, and a little vacuum forms that bubble in there. So it's not bone against bone or car uh, cartilage against cartilage, just a little bubble forming. Do chiropractic adjustments have side effects? They do. It gets you healthier when the, 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 there's only one side effect of the adjustment and that is by getting pressure off your nerves, you're gonna have closer to your health potentially. You're gonna be healthier. Are x-rays necessary for chiropractic care? I was in Campbell in the Bay Area uh, for 19 years before opening up here six and a half years ago. I chose not to have x-ray. I used to have x-ray um, because it doesn't affect my adjustment in most cases. So. At the exam, if necessary, I'll order x-rays. Some chiropractors do take x-rays uh, with most of their patients, um, but it's not necessary. So that's kind of up to the chiropractor um, and it shouldn't dictate if you get care or not. Does health insurance cover chiropractic care? Yes and no, some plans cover. Um, in our office, we do take PPOs, uh, but we're out of network. So most people, um, we don't bill their insurance because it's prohibitive uh, due to their deductible and their copay, um, but it depends on your insurance plan. Is chiropractic care evolving? Well, great question. And yes, it absolutely is. Um, I'm kind of in the trenches here with you guys. I'm just a practitioner with patients. I'm certainly not interested in doing um, scientific research studies. Um, but when I go to continuing education seminars every year, my mind is blown by the type of science and studies that prove the efficacy and safety of chiropractic care. So yes, it's evolving in that there's more and more and more um, scientific studies proving how safe and effective it is. How to find a good chiropractor? Just walk in my door. Um, honestly, it's always a referral best and then Yelp is like your next best thing to a personal referral these days. Uh, generally, if you're in a big enough town, Yelp's great. But yeah, how to find a good chiropractor, generally a referral. And uh, if you don't know a friend, coworker, family member that's going, then check out Yelp generally or Google. So hopefully that answers some of your questions and I'd love to answer any future ones you have. Thanks.